Hey guys, welcome back. And today we are going to see another nursing diagnosis and care plan. So we are going to see diarrhea, nursing care plan and uh, diagnosis. So before that, we will see what is the definition of uh, diarrhea according to World Health Organization. So according to World Health Organization or WHO, diarrhea is defined as the passage of three or more times loose or liquid stools per day. It is usually a symptom of an infection in the intestinal tract, which can be caused by a variety of bacterial, viral, and parasitic organisms. Infection is spread through contaminated food or drinking water or form of person to person as a result of poor hygiene. So this is the definition of diarrhea by World Health Organization. Now we will see the nursing diagnosis based on the nursing diagnosis format. Diarrhea related to gastrointestinal infection as evidenced by frequent loose or watery stores. Second one, diarrhea related to inflammatory bowel disease as evidenced by abdominal cramp. Third one, diarrhea related to adverse effect of medication as evidenced by urgency to defecate. Next one, diarrhea related to malabsorption syndrome as evidenced by hyperactive bowel sounds. Next one, diarrhea related to a dietary intolerance as evidenced by signs of dehydration. So these are all some of the nursing diagnosis for diarrhea. Anyone you can use depend upon the condition of your patient. Now we will see the nursing uh, care plan. So as I said in previous videos also, while writing your nursing uh, uh, what care plan, always you have to follow these columns. Okay. So what is the first column? Okay. First column is subjective data, objective data. It will come under assessment. Second is diagnosis. Third, planning. Next one, rational. Next one, implementation. And last column is evaluation. In assessment column, we will write subjective data and objective data. What is subjective data? The What patient reports or what patient says about their condition? What is objective data? What you have observed from the patient's present situation. Okay. So here the subjective data is the patient reports that frequent trips to the toilet and experiencing abdominal pain. And what is objective data? The patient appears very fatigued and hyperactive bowel sounds are evident. Okay. So what you have observed that you can write. Okay. And what your patient is saying that you can write under subjective data. Next thing is diagnosis that is depend upon the condition of your patient. Okay, I've just written like this diarrhea related to gastrointestinal or GI infections or, or dietary issues as evidenced by frequent loose stools and abdominal discomfort. Okay, and what is my goal? The patient will report decrease in the abdominal cramping and the patient will have reduction in the frequency of bowel movements to the normal levels within 24 to 48 hours. Why I have mentioned time here means diarrhea is not a common thing. Like uh, we could take some time to give the treatment and uh, I mean, we can, it, it takes some, if it takes some, definitely that can leads to severe complications. So it is very, very important to specify the times. Okay. And your goal will be in what tense, in future tense. Then next column, planning. In planning, always start your planning with history collection and physical examination. So it should be in present tense. Do history collection and physical examination. And what is the rational? To understand the general condition of the patient. Always start, use the word to, to understand the general condition of the patient. Then in implementation, done history collection, physical examination, also record uh, the TPR and whatever the things you observe from the uh, physical examination and in vital sense checking that you can write in the implementation column. Then second planning, uh, monitor frequency and features of the stools. That's very, very important for what? If there is any bloody stool that you have to inform to the uh, necessary uh, department lab or pathology department or to the doctor or any kind of abnormal things or unusual characteristic features if you have upset definitely uh, you have to inform for what so the rational will be to find out the cause of diarrhea and in implementation you can write monitored and recorded all the information then third planning is assess for signs of dehydration that's very very important because water is missing and losing from the body from each toilet trip right so that assess for signs of dehydration for what to increase the fluid intake assessed for dry mucous membrane and de uh, decrease the skin trigger how you will assess the dehydration you cannot simply say i have assessed you should say something like i've checked the skin i've checked the mucous membrane so that you have to write in implementation then evaluate dietary habits and allergy or irritants, that's very important because you should find out the cause, right? So the rational is to understand the root cause of the problem. Then in implementation, you can write evaluated and collected all the information from the patient. 
the next planning encourage oral rehydration or ors and other iv fluids as needed for what to prevent dehydration encourage ors and started iv fluid as needed then advise a balanced diet for what to maintain the metabolism then what you have advised that you can write in implementation i just write, i have just written like this advise to avoid high fiber greasy that means oily or dairy products then advise to keep the perineal area clean and dry because every time they are going to toilet using water or toilet tissues or something and there are chances to break down of skin so the rationale is to prevent skin breakdown and uh, in implementation you can write advice to follow the instructions then planning uh, next planning educate personal hygiene that's very very important because keep on going to the toilet after to you going to toilet after going coming then the same hand we are using for other purposes so uh, it, uh, educating personal hygiene is very very important in diarrhea care plan for what to prevent further infections then educated the importance of proper personal hygiene and also you could specifically say uh, you have educated the importance of proper hand hygiene okay then uh, administer medication as per the orders okay so for what to reduce the symptoms and you can administer the medication if you are a registered person okay as per the doctor's order okay basically what type of medication anti diarrheal medications only will give to the patients right then any kind of infection then we will start the uh, antibiotics and etc right this is the planning and in evaluation in which tense you have to write you have to write in future tense right so your evaluation will be the patient reported a decrease in the abdominal cramping and showed a reduction in the frequency of bowel movements to normal levels within 24 to 48 reported okay showed okay a reduction in the frequency of bowel movements to the normal levels within 24 to 48 hours again i, I would like to say that specify the time okay because this is diarrhea all right so this is about the nursing diagnosis and care plan for diarrhea okay hope you understand guys next time we will come and we'll discuss another nursing diagnosis and care plan thank you